Hey everyone, Hoff here today. Uh, I'm in my garage today working on some, uh, or add, I guess adding some shelving to um, some already existing stuff that I've done. Um, I've done a whole bunch of uh, shelving in my garage. I've got uh, 10 foot high um, walls on for one portion, portion of the garage and then it bumps up to 12 feet. So um, there's a lot of unused space. Um, so I've attached some kind of basic two by four shelves with some plywood on top. Um, and I've been using some bins that I grabbed from Costco or Canadian Tire um, to kind of store everything. We label everything, uh, seasonal stuff, um, coolers, different things like that. So I'm going to flip my camera around and kind of show you what I've done and what I'm going to plan to do today. All right, so these are uh, the bins that uh, I use for all of our stuff. Uh, we get them from Costco, Canadian Tire. I think sometimes they go on sale for $12. They range from $12 to $20 a bin. Um, this one's got a bunch of camping gear in it. Um, it's nice because they can just keep keep the dust out, put the lids on, we label them um, and put them on the shelving. Um, so kind of just a quick little glimpse here. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to know what is in all the boxes and know what's up there. Um, so I've just hung all of these shelves, attached them to the studs with uh, screws and then used like a slotted angle iron um, to the roof uh, to help hold that weight. And I've just braced everything uh, with some flat bar there going up from one level to the next. We've got a uh, 10 foot high ceiling here. And then where our master bedroom is, it jet, jets up another two feet. So we've got about 12 feet there. Um, so had I not done any of this, uh, I think it's kind of just a wasted space. Uh, so it's a great way to uh, kind of maximize your space if you do have tall ceilings in the garage. Um, but anyways, for today's task, uh, I'm going to be adding a shelf above this one. I'm going to tie into this one and run an, about a seven foot shelf and then brace down to here. I just like to get another shelf up there so we can get some more space to put um, some additional coolers and camping gear and stuff like that that we're acquiring. So um, I'm just going to pretty much build a two by four ladder, put some plywood on it. Um, I'm gonna bolt it to this one, screw and bolt through there. And then I'm gonna run some legs up from the plywood on this one uh, to brace that end. Um, this stuff holds quite a bit of weight. Um, this row here with all my tools on it, um, is quite heavy and I mean I can hang off of this stuff and it doesn't move so um, for me this has worked really well um, if you have any other ideas or suggestions on what you do for uh, maximizing your garage space um, feel free to let us know I'm always looking for new new ideas so uh, I picked up some two by fours from Home Depot plywood um, unfortunately I uh, took my, I've got a little M18 cordless seven and a quarter um, chop saw. Um, it's not sliding really well right now, so I took it in for warranty work. So I'm going to be um, doing all this with the circular saw. Uh, being a cabinet maker, um, don't really have a lot of experience with circular saws, so I'm going to do my best. Uh, it's just a little quick shelf that I'm going to put together and uh, let you know how, how that process goes. So that was about an hour and a half and the shelf is complete. Didn't go too bad. It's a scorcher here today. So I'm uh, put a lot of sweat into this little project. Um, so yeah, hour and a half to, to complete with setup uh, of tools and stuff. Um, just kind of like what, what we've discussed and chatted about on the, on the show. Um, sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone um, and try things. Uh, a lot of the times just getting and doing something, getting a tool in your hand uh, for this one. I used a circular saw, table saw, uh, kind of some basic hand tools. Um, you don't need to have a, a table saw. You could get away with a circular saw. Uh, maybe I'd recommend a speed square to help keep your cuts uh, nice and square. I'm pretty bad with a circular saw, so I try and go with the speed square just to keep everything nice and 90, nice and square, I guess. Um, so uh, you don't need a ton of, pro uh, ton of tools uh, for something like this. 
um, and kind of like what we want to do with the show is uh, just trying to get people to get off the couch and build something cool. So hope you enjoyed this one.